Testament, week 41 of 52. So being 52 weeks of the year, 2023, we're finishing week 41 of 52. Currently biological age 55. Okay. And we're going to do a physical assessment. So I'm really bringing up the muscles on my left side is my goal. Had some really good workouts this week. Had some pros and some challenges and victories. We can go about over that later. This is just really to see where I'm at right now, physique-wise. My goal is that I'm going to be happy and grateful that I am 185 pounds, similar body fat, around 6 to 7% body fat. I'm about 170 pounds today. So I really want to gain a solid 15 pounds all over. And I could change that if I felt like it wasn't the right call. Let's see here. This is my challenge side. So normally, if I was just trying to show off, I, I wouldn't even show this side. And that's how they teach us in bodybuilding is we, we hide our weaknesses and show our strength, but it's really not the purpose of this video or this vlog, because I'm just really trying to share with you my journey, trying to be the best I can be as a 55 year old male and trying to do better and help others and live the example of a health and fitness lifestyle. Right side. Look at that. I was really noticing. I'm really trying to bring up my left calf, which you can't really see here. My right calf and my left calf. Muscular. You know, Arnold, my Schwarzenegger, used to say that I, if you're looking for more definition, posing is what brings out the shape and definition. It's like a, a person that doesn't pose his body, it's like an uncut diamond. So I'm trying to bring out cuts and shape. And the more you pose, the more shape you get. Okay. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back for a wrap up. Just a moment. Bitcoin weekly update, October 14th, 2023. This is a look at Bitcoin on the daily level. Each one of these candles is a daily look, right? Each one, each candle represents one day, right? So normally when I'm scalp trading during the week, I don't uh, I'll look at this, but not a, usually we zoom in further. But on the weekly update, I'm zooming out, okay? Just to show you what it looks like on the daily. So really it's it's been traveling over the last, well, ever since here, August 17th, almost two months, right? Right inside this zone right here. We've been two months just traveling right here, right? And you can see there's a couple big green candles, which gives me some suspicion on some things. But this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've written, I've drawn out, so don't let these lines confuse you. What I'm going to do is back out a little bit even further, okay, even further. So you can see way back, even towards the beginning of the year. So you can see where they've traveled. Now look, this is uh, fascinating. So these purple lines right here, right here, right here, and right here are what I call spider lines. And maybe you're familiar with them, maybe not. And look at how they've, the, the price, look at how it kept hitting it right here. 
hitting it, hitting it, and boom, dropped. Kept hitting it here, hitting it here. This is all drawn out before it happened. And boom, went up to here, hitting this, hitting this. It goes down, up, down, up. It's, just, it's amazing. It's almost like a game, you know? It's like, but they're hitting these spider lines. Okay, so now what I've done, just for fun, is I like to speculate like where I think the price might go next. So I, this is my drawing here, This the item here. I just drew this out just as as a speculation to see where the price might go and this is on the daily time frame but look when I drew it look at this it, when I started this analogy it was from here then we did go up to here my suspicion is that we're going to come down to here next so I'm looking for shorts myself at the moment but you never know you got to watch watch each zone because it can turn at any time but potentially we can go here back up to here back up to here back up to here and then back down and what's interesting is I really feel like on the big picture of things, it could go back down. And if it does, I'm okay with that because it's better prices to buy in at. So this is the this is my next major level of support that I'm looking for. And we look, I'd love to have some nice entries right here, even if it's just spot long term. But that's just me. But I'm just uh just playing it out, okay. So this is where we're at right now. See this? Okay. But now, just for fun, I'm going to zoom in. This is Levels System. It's part of the IM Academy. As a member, you get this software. This software is only available through the IM Academy. It's the only way to access it. And it is some amazing software. Now, if you look over here, you can actually trade any of anything with it. Bitcoin. Look at all these other cryptocurrencies. Is a is a lot of a lot of things to trade from, but as an intermediate trader, I'm just right now just focused on on Bitcoin because I'm I'm just learning and I'm I'm still in learning mode, so I have a lot to, I see things I learn new things every day, but this is this is what I'm looking at right now potentially to come back down to here right around twenty six. What is this twenty six oh two two, and we're right now around twenty. We're at 26.8. So I'm looking at potentially 20, right around 26,000 as the next um, point. That's that's just my speculation. With potential bounce, potential bounce up to here after that. So we'll see, we'll see. So I'm going to still, I'm going to uh, zoom in because there's a lot of tools on this program that we can utilize. And so I went from a daily level Let's go to the hour level, because when I'm, okay, here we go. All right, so now on the hourly level, see we're really testing what a, this support line right here. So it's testing all this, and this is a support line, I feel like, or not support, but resistance, like it's resisting going above that. And it may, it may not, we'll see. You never know, but we play, we just play the cards that we're dealt with. That's what I do. All right. And then, so this is where I'm at on the hourly. I'm watching these zones right here. Personally, I have some, some orders set right here for shorts, right around this area right here. But that's just me. So let's hop over to Swipe Coin. Now, this is more for scalping, right? This is what we just looked at was on the hourly time frame. But right now, here, I'm sharing with you is on the 15 minute time frame. See that? This is 15 minute time frame. I'm going to zoom out a little bit though, just for fun, just to kind of show you what we've been looking at the last few days. Okay, I don't want to go too much further than that. But these two zones right here, we've just been, look at that, we've just been traveling in this area right here. All right. But I feel like what I'm looking at here is that it's really testing this. Will it break above and close and go on up more? It could. Um, and potentially we have a low RSI here, which sometimes it's going to, it eventually will go back up here, but sometimes it can travel back up here without the price going up. And so we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it plays out. But swipe coin is, uh, super trend is this indicator right here. This blue line is the price line. The red and green line is, a is a tool or an indicator called super trend. And a lot of us say that super trend is your friend because 
it helps a lot. Right now it's telling us that the Bitcoin is selling. It's going down, arrow down, it's telling us that. So I'm currently in a short, and I'm in long really. You can be long and short at the same time. I have spot BTC, which means I just bought it and I'm holding on to it for the long term because I do believe in the long term the price will go up. But in the scalp trading world, we can come, you can go be in and out of the markets. It's not for everybody, but it's, um, I feel like it's where I'm at on my journey. It's, it's something that I really feel led to do. But this is where we're at. This is what I'm looking at, looking for that. And then keeping in mind the big picture, I'm waiting to see how all this plays out right here. If we, I'm really watching this zone right here. If we get too far above this, and above this right here then I, I feel like anything could happen we might go back up but if this breaks below and stays I believe that we could end up coming back down to well here for sure 20 26.6 but potentially down to the 26 uh, 26,000 you know even like right around here right around here I believe it's possible to come down here or lower but this is kind of what I'm looking at in my speculation but so that's the thing so if you want to learn how you can do your own speculation you can trade on your own terms and your style everybody's different everybody has different styles this is this is on the hourly time frame just so you know okay but this is what I'm looking at right now waiting to see how this plays out it is the weekend Saturday Sunday and even Monday can, can be considered Amongst many of the professionals, high risk trade days. If I was being ultra conservative, I would trade Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those would be the best trading days because they just eventually the price has to go somewhere. And then when it does, it gives you a clue of where it's going to go next. So I keep that in mind. I usually am, I don't want to say careful, but I'm just really specific, even more specific when it's like a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday or Monday because they can be tricky, tricky days. So we even have Monday, we even have a Monday box, which is not going to pop up just yet because, um, oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. The Monday box right here. Here's a Monday box. This is last Monday. Look at this. This is last Monday right here. So we have a Monday box that tells you we have a whole strategy just playing off Mondays. Okay. That was last Monday. Look where we're at now. This is Saturday right now. So we'll see what happens on this coming Monday. But you can you can have a strategy basically where you come out on Monday and you can strategize based on what happened on Monday. So that's it. Uh, and all right. I'm going to finish strong. And I'll be back. Finishing strong. It is end of week 41. It's currently Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. As you, if you follow any of my blogs before, what I do with my goals is I, I lay out the year week by week. We, are, we have just wrapped up week 41 of 52, right? So I want to finish strong on the week, which I did the best I could uh, for yesterday. It really finished for me yesterday for the week. And then I want to finish strong for the year, right? So we have... Going into week 42 of 52. So that's really probably just 10 weeks, maybe 11. Sometimes the numbers work out that way. 10 or 11 weeks before the end of the year. So when it comes to my fitness goals, I have everything laid out. My habits during the week, such as proper training. I do my strength training four days a week at least. Yoga, an hour three times a week, swimming an hour, three times a week, Tai Chi, I only did it one hour, but my goal is to do it this week for three, three times, right, three times for the hour, so that's uh, strength training four times a week, yoga three times a week, swimming three times a week, and Tai Chi, that seems like a lot, but the reason why, for, for me, the reason why I'm doing that is I I'm recovering from an injury on my left side. I've had some few things we can get into the details of it later, but short story made long story made short. I have an injury and I feel like uh, these things are going to help. So yoga, swimming, 
Tai Chi, stuff like that. So that's all on the training side. So that's our base. Remember, training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, mindset. Okay, so we just talked about training. My training has been covered, right? Nutrition. My goal is to, uh, I'm working on gaining weight. So I'm on a weight gain diet, not a weight loss diet. Everybody's different. So my goal is to get approximately 600 grams of carbs a day, 200 grams of protein a day, 45 grams of fat a day. Did I hit that all last week? No, I did not. And so I'm going to work on doing that better this week. I tried a new, um, I tried a new, so pro, so one thing I do when I review my goals is I do the, the, cha the challenges that I have and the victories that I have. So the victories that I had was I did get all my strength training in, got my yoga in, got my swimming in, got most of my meals in. The, um, so let's talk about the meals for a minute. So, so last week I tried a new pre-workout supplement and I'm the type of personality that believes if one is good, Two must be better, <laughs> right? Does anybody else relate with that? Um, let me know in the chat if you relate with that. And so anyway, I tried double dosing on the supplement and really upset my stomach. So for like three days, I was like, just couldn't eat what I normally ate. So I started off the week around 175, finished up the week around 170. So I actually lost weight, got a little leaner. <laughs> but it wasn't really my intention. So this week, um, but anyway, my, my long-term goal with health and fitness is to be that I'm happy and grateful that I am 185 pounds, feeling strong and healthy like a supple leopard. Now see how I do that? That's part of my mindset. So remember the five fundamentals of fitness, training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, mindset. So let's, let's hold off a mindset for a second. Training, got all the training in. Nutrition, I got what meals I could in. Recovery, sleeping seven and a half to nine hours, sleep a night is my objective. And I did that about half last time because I, my physical issues interrupted my sleep. So no excuses, but this, but going forward, starting tonight, Sunday, all the way through Friday, my goal is to get between seven and a half to nine hours sleep a night. That does so many things for us. I'm currently training a neuroradiologist and they know a lot about sleep and sleep studies and you know he really recommends seven and a half to nine hours sleep a night for optimal recovery. That's that's what I'm shooting for. You, you do whatever's best for you. I'm just telling you what works for me. So that's training, nutrition, recovery. Supplementation. I'm taking some nutritional supplements like uh, I love shakes. Oh, I just have always loved shakes. And so I do drink um, Orgain, a meal replacement shake. I have two of those a day, plus my meals. I usually blend in fruits and stuff like that with it. Let's see here, someone's calling in, my good friend, Potential Spam. And then, so uh, supplements, then the mindset, the last but not least is the mindset. Every day, this is part of mindset, just sharing this vlog is part of mindset. It reinforces what I'm doing. Um, and... Part of mindset too is every day when I'm driving to the studio, I express my goals by using an affirmation or a prayer. To me, it's a prayer. I pray to God. If you don't believe in God, you can use an affirmation. So I say, I am happy and grateful now that I am, and then I state my goal. And you can do the same thing if you wanted to play along and, and learn from this. I am happy and grateful now that I am... 185 pounds, 6 or 7% body fat, feeling strong and healthy like a supple leopard, thick brown hair, 20-20 vision, perfect teeth, supple skin. And I have a few other things that's more personal that, that, I, that I share and, and that I'm happy and grateful now for. So the point of that is that if you want to benefit and take, take this into your habit, all you have to do is express your goals in the present tense. And, and this is how you set it up is like this. I am happy and grateful now that I am. Those, those phrases are so powerful. So to finish strong, I, that's what I'm doing. Is I'm training my mind because I feel like the mind is so powerful. It's, a, it's almost like one of my mentors said, it's kind of like 
the mindset is kind of like imagine if you're imagine you're watching a a huge building going up. You're watching this big construction of a big hotel or something like this, big building. And you see the machines outside working around, right? And you see those big cranes, they got the big crane and they got the little box that the person sits into it. Well, think about that as as that that big machine, right? But in the box, like that's your mindset. The box is your mindset. The person in the box pulling all the levers, that's your mindset. Your mindset is either going to help you or hurt you. So what we want to do is train that mindset. Train the mindset to be what to to go towards the direction that you want to go towards, right? So one way to do that is expressing your goals in the present tense. Like they're happening now because a lot of people that I'm learning from really believe that our minds cannot tell the difference between what's real and what's not real. So by you telling your mind, your mind, that I am happy and grateful now, that I am, you're training your mindset. You're training that mindset. Does that make sense? All right. So that's it. So finishing strong, finishing strong. So right now it's on my Saturday, which is kind of like my day of reflection. So I'm laying out my goals next week. I'm planning in. When am I going to do the strength? When am I going to do the yoga, the swimming, the tai chi, my sleep, my meals? And then that doesn't even get into the business. So this is fitness and finance, right? So on the finance side, my goal is to increase my cash flow with my businesses right now. That's really my, and serve my customers. That's really my biggest, biggest mission that I'm on right now. So matter of fact, as my weight loss business, my mission is to reduce global obesity from 38.75%, which it is right now, meaning 38.75% percent of the population is currently obese, right? My goal and the company mission is to reduce global obesity to under 20%. And I believe that's very attainable. Very attainable. So what do you think? You think that's attainable? Let me know in the, in the comments if you feel like that's attainable. But I feel like right now we're just way out of control, right? So my goal is to get 25 personal training clients, 25 weight loss coaching clients, work with 25 other fitness experts. I have a networking business that I'm working with fitness experts with. And I am a member of the I Am Academy, which is an academy that teaches about digital assets. So what we want to do, part of my financial goal is to take the money that I'm earning from my business and then multiply that money. So you take in, take in a dollar, turn it into two, three, four, ten dollars, right? So that's, that's the objective. And if you want to learn how to do that, if you have any questions about the Academy, I'm, I'm looking to collaborate with other people, potentially just like you, who want to collaborate and find out more about the Academy and how you can benefit. So if you're watching this and you have any interest in coaching or weight loss or finding out what's digital assets and how you can benefit, then please consider reaching out to me so we can talk. I'm easy to talk to. All you have to do is give me a call or a text. And we can get together. If I don't answer your call, I'm probably in a session. But then we can set up an appointment. That's usually a good way to do it. So finishing strong. So that's it. So I just want to finish strong and rock and roll it. So if you have any questions about this, this is my fitness and finance vlog for finishing strong. Finished last week was week 41 going into week 42 of 52. And if I can be of any service to you, please let me know. Bye for now. I'll be back.